Hi class, this is your instructor, Skylar Tom, and the video you're watching now is all about how to use the Learn Smart Labs via Connect and McGraw-Hill. So as you arrive, you should see what I see here. And of course, it says your instructor, and of course, my name is there. Thereafter, it lists course materials and even how to purchase discounted copies of the textbook. And then, of course, there is a study area here. And then finally, you can find additional practice. And I haven't recorded lectures there. However, I will likely record a bit myself via the same way I'm recording now. So let's get to the issue at hand, being the labs which are going to be assigned to you. And I say they are going to be assigned because right now, all of the labs are locked until, of course, the first day of class. Then these first three, being lab safety, the scientific method, and metric measurements. Each of those three would be unlocked for you. So let's first begin here with lab safety. As you all get to your very first lab, and I would say every lab, it will load as follows. So it now says loading. Upon loading, you'll sit to listen to your very brief introduction to your labs. This brief bit here just lets you know that your lab is different from each lab given. It's critical that you understand how to work safely in the lab. Following the appropriate lab etiquette and regulations is important to maintain your own safety and the safety of others around you. This set of simulators will help you learn how to work safely in the lab. Before you use the simulators, explore some foundational ideas about lab safety by clicking on the yellow Core Concepts bar. Now that you've had your brief introduction, let me explain a bit more to you. For every lab I have assigned, I have picked very specific parts and pieces for you all to work. Notice the Core Concepts in this lab have been assigned. It gives you an estimate of how long it should take you it is quite likely that it will take you less than 10 minutes to complete the lab. Beneath, it states that there is a hand washing procedure, personal safety, and proper disposal of materials. Finally, it says final summary questions, and it also states that those have not been assigned. So uh, to pay even more attention, it says not assigned, and that is for the hand washing procedure, and the same can be stated about the proper disposal of materials. So I'm saying this to ensure that you all only attempt, you only complete those assigned portions of the lab. So what I have for you all is personal safety, and that has been assigned with an estimated time being 15 minutes to take you. So that does indeed mean that you all should not complete any of those final summary questions. So let's prepare ourselves to begin the core concepts, while some laboratory safety practices are consistent in any lab environment. So I'm not going to go through everything in this lab, but of course, this is how those labs are, and you complete these labs as follows. If you need any further assistance, please let me know, answer your questions correctly, and of course, have a great day and a wonderful lab experience. Thank you again.